David and Derek Carr have made a name for themselves when it comes to football. Their down-to-earth demeanor on and off the field and ties to the Central Valley have made them a staple in Fresno. Tonight we get to know the women who stand next to the Carr brothers, supporting them along the way. Both David and Derek married their wives while playing at Fresno State. Melody and Heather Carr both share a focus on family. Now in a two-part series, Action News sat down with each of the wives in their homes for an intimate conversation to hear about their experience through it all. Action News anchor Jessica Harrington takes us to Bakersfield to chat with Melody Carr. You can probably catch her cruising Millerton Lake with her family, hosting a book club with friends, left foot, right foot, levitate, pop stars. or trying out the latest TikTok trend with her husband, former NFL quarterback and Super Bowl champion David Carr. Hi, welcome. Come on in. Melody Carr welcomed us into her home in West Bakersfield recently to sit down in her personal library. I tried to do kind of like a rainbow theme, but then like randomly I have some Christmas books. And amongst those books, pictures of her family and she and David over the years. When somebody says, who is Melody Carr, what do you say? Gosh, um, a mother comes to mind like first off. I think that's just the stage where I'm at right now. Um, wife, friend. David and Melody Carr celebrated their 23rd wedding anniversary in March of this year. The two grew up in Bakersfield. They went to different high schools but met at a winter church camp out of town. The girls were all over him immediately upon arrival. So that kind of turned me off. I was like, whatever. Like, yeah, he's cute, but I'm not gonna go chase him. And then he likes that. <laughs> and he was like, why is this girl not talking to me? They decided to exchange numbers and started dating. Melody was a junior in high school. David was a senior and was already committed to play football at Fresno State. I knew he played football, but I didn't know he was like, good. <laughs> Melody initially stayed behind as David left to Fresno. The two talked on the phone for hours to stay in contact. Our parents were so mad at us. We had huge phone bills. So his dad and mom were like, okay, guys, what, what can we do here? How can we fix this? <laughs> so we decided getting married was the you know, key to save some money. <laughs> the two got married in 1999 while still in college. Just six months later, they got pregnant with their first child, a boy they named Austin. To support David's football dream and their new family, Melody dropped out of school and started working full time which she admits wasn't always easy. I was working in that leasing office at our apartments and David was sitting outside in the pool, just like floating around and I'm just like looking out the window like, this sucks. <laughs> Why am I working full time? <laughs> this is not fun. Um, but yeah, it was, it was hard, but it was also really some of the best moments we've ever had. In 2002, their lives changed as David entered the NFL. With the uh, first choice in the 2002 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select David Carr, quarterback from Fresno State. Going from Fresno to Houston was just a huge leap for us. We were really lucky, I think, that David's family moved out with us. And so we always had that support. David played with the Houston Texans for five seasons. Melody and David had two more sons while David was in the NFL, Tyler and Cooper. The boys and I were more of like a unit um, where we just hung out a lot by ourselves. We had to learn to be really independent. Melody and the boys stayed behind as David traveled with the team. They would only travel to away games in California so they could visit family. Their family grew in 2011 when Melody gave birth to their fourth child and first girl, Gracie. David retired from the NFL two years later and was able to spend more time at home with his family. They were a family of six for seven years. I think we thought we were done. And then after a while, we're like, maybe, okay, maybe just one more. On three, we're going to say mom's pregnant. One, two, two three. Mom's pregnant. In 2018, Melody gave birth to another little girl, Piper. Are you guys done now? We're done now, yeah. <laughs> Five is good. <laughs> Melody and David have become advocates for those with type 1 diabetes. Their family has a personal connection to it. We have five kids. Three of the five have type 1 diabetes. And then David also was diagnosed 
at, like at 38 years old, so late in life. Melody runs a social media account, raising four diabetics, chronicling the challenges that come along with it. She says it's been her faith that has carried her through all of the major transitions in her life. Really going through like all the hard times for us really just helped having that faith background. Because we just always knew there was something bigger, something greater, that God had a plan for us. That bigger plan now includes investing in a new school that will be built in Bakersfield, Providence Classical Christian Academy. Everything that they're teaching is like how to see the beauty in everything in the world and in how God intended it to be. Her four youngest children still live at home and she says they remain her focus. It's amazing that we can all just be together and not just be our focus right now is family, and faith and just trying to get them grounded and send them off. Coming up next week in part two, we talk to Derek Carr's wife, Heather, at their home in Las Vegas. She takes us through their life from the beginning. I'm just like, oh, I, I don't want anything to do with that. You know, the typical like football guy, right? expanding their family. She was not planned, but the Lord just blessed us with her. He always knew that I had wanted a baby girl. And the role she has as a wife to a starting quarterback in the NFL. Like being there emotionally, you know, um, being supportive, not only just like having all the house stuff done and the cooking and the cleaning and all that, but just being there like if, you know, he wants to talk about the day or, you know, that kind of thing. That's next week after Monday Night Football. Things you never knew about no. the Carr brothers. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful families. Yes, they are. Beautiful families.